Hi everyone! In this back to school DIY, I'll show you how to make this cool scratch off rainbow notebook. This is great fun to play with if you're bored during class and your teachers can't even take it away from you since it's part of your notes. If you want more crafting inspiration, then be sure to check out the Crafty Amino app, which I've just joined. I know lots of you are on there already, so you can find my official page, which is macaroon slash cutelifehacks. This is a free app designed just for crafters, and you can meet lots of new people, share your work, and create your own blog posts or polls. There's also a section with loads of DIY-related chats, so you can pick any topic you like and then join the conversation. This is the most popular feature of Crafty Amino because there's no other app or social media that lets you chat with so many crafters in real time. If you're not part of it yet, then just click the link under this video to join Crafty Amino. So back to the notebook. I was inspired by this Korean scratch-off notebook that I got from banggood.com, which I've also linked below. It comes with this wooden stick for you to scratch off designs, However, you can also use an empty ballpoint pen, a cuticle stick, or any other pointy tool. For the DIY version, you'll need a blank notebook, some wax pastels or children's crayons, black acrylic paint, and liquid soap or shampoo. I strongly recommend using an artist's sketchbook like this because the pages are blank and it comes in a spiral binding. You should be able to find one easily from any art or stationery shop. However, a single page is still too thin because the paper will crinkle if you add paint over it. So we have to stick several sheets together to create one thick page. I'm using a glue stick for this, which is best for sticking single sheets of paper together. Make sure the two corners of the page match up exactly and then carefully press them together. Then repeat this process until you have a thick base for your scratch off page. I ended up gluing five sheets together to make this one. You can also make as many or as few scratch-off pages as you want. You can create an entire notebook like this or simply add one page at the front or back to doodle on if you're bored in class. Next, take your crayons or wax pastels. I found these neon colored ones which are nice because the colors really jump out from the black. These have to be wax based and not soft pastels which are powder based. Then start covering the page with a bright colorful pattern. This part is really fun to do. I'm using round blobs here, but you can also draw stripes, triangles, or any random shape you like. For best results, try to make sure that the page is covered up with more pale colors like yellow, orange, and pink, instead of darker ones like blue or purple. It's important to check that the whole surface is really covered with waxy crayon or pastels. If there are any spots of paper showing through, then those parts won't scratch off properly later on. For the next step, mix equal parts of black acrylic paint and liquid soap together. You can also use shampoo, dish soap or any type of clear shower gel. This actually gives your notebook a nice scent, so pick a smell that you like. Then start covering the page with a thin layer of paint. Be careful not to apply too much at once or the moisture will cause the paper to crumple. The first layer might still be slightly see-through, so once that's dry, you can add a second layer of paint which will cover everything up. This paint actually dries very quickly, so I was able to complete this whole page within 15 minutes. And now your scratch-off notepad is done. You can take any sharp object and start writing or drawing on it. One suggestion would be to create a cover page like this for your different subjects at school. This DIY version worked surprisingly well, however I noticed that the black layer didn't scratch off as smoothly as the store-bought notepad. This is why it's important to make sure the page is covered with wax crayon because the wax really helps the paint slide off. But this is still a very fun and easy back-to-school DIY so I hope you get to try it out. Be sure to check out Crafty Amino as well and share your work with other crafters. The app is completely free and you can also find other Amino communities based on different interests. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you like this. My next video is going to be on my second craft channel Macaroon and here's a little preview. If you love hamsters then you'll definitely love this DIY. By the way, both of my hamsters actually have their own YouTube channel called Fluffyland so if you want to subscribe to them then you can do that here.